What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video by moi. Today's video theme is a very, very, like my everyday makeup look, which is this. Um, my favorite products that I use for my everyday makeup look, as well as a random chit chat and talking about bullying, which came out very randomly. Something was suppressed and I needed to talk about it, I guess. Before I get into today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about Ana Luisa again. As you know, I wear Ana Luisa pieces all the time. I wear them in my day-to-day -day jewelry. They never tarnish and they're just so classy. They're just amazing day-to-day -day pieces. I love that they are super affordable. There are no pieces over $39, which is just for fine jewelry, you guys, let me tell you, if you don't know, that is a deal. Ana Luisa does use recycled jewelry, so it is a zero waste situation, which I find everyone should be doing. That is amazing. What else are we gonna do with all of that metal that people just throw away? They don't want the jewelry anymore. As well as their styles are very trendy, so let me show you the pieces that I picked today. So this lapis hoop, which is a beautiful like hexagonal type of shape, I love it. I just think it's really, really cute. I believe it's 14 karat plated on sterling silver, so that's not tarnishing. As well as lapis is just an absolutely gorgeous stone. Then I have this one, it's called the Cruise Earrings. I've been obsessed with these little pendant looking earrings for a really long time now. I think that they're just really cute. And this one is a cubic zirconia, uh, 18 karat gold plated on sterling silver. And I just think that it's such a cute little stacked look so this is how I would style it I forgot the name of this bracelet but it's so beautiful it's just a very dainty bead bracelet and I love how all the beads are so close together I love this piece this is probably one of my most favorite pieces I picked because it's just you know it's just a bracelet. you know you're just like putting your hair behind your ear and your bracelets right there and it's just super cute you know love that I have this guy here it's a beautiful plate necklace I thought this would be really cute just because it's reversible so the other side of it is black enamel with a little cubic zirconia I also have this ring by the way which is a ring that I had picked a while ago but I just wanted to show you that I've had this ring for about a year and I wear it almost every day and it has not tarnished it's just still in basically brand new condition and I love the fact that it is also adjustable they have an amazing black friday sale right now if i'm correct it is buy one get one 50 off blended buy one get one 50 off site wide actually that's i actually did not realize it was site wide so literally everything is buy one get one 50 off prices start at 39 dollars. i would say get a move on because things are going to sell out really fast it's really good quality jewelry for a really really good price and we are heading into the last days of the sale so get a move on Without further ado, I'm gonna get on into the video and show you how I created this beautiful look. So it took me way too long to film this video because I was just feeling really crappy about myself and it happens. So I'm so grateful that I'm here now. FYI, this random spot of light skin on my face, everyone ignore it. It is a skin fungus and I have the cream for it and it used to be worse than this, so it's getting better. I do my gel brows before I do foundation and everything because it's just gonna get all messy. Like the foundation's just gonna completely get messed up if I don't do my gel brows first, you know? And I've been liking gel brows because I use much less product on my eyebrows this way. Cause I have very, very like long eyebrow. <sighs> okay, oh, this one's my favorite, that brow. She knows, she knows she's the favorite as well. It's a Powder Kiss Shadow in Give a Glam. It's a very dark color. Actually, it's not that dark, but it's just the right color for my brows. I just like to line the bottom of my eyebrows a little. When my um, brush has minimal product on it, I take it to the front because obviously this is the area I want it to to be very uh, sparse. Not really anything is new. Vancouver is really, really, really getting quite cold as well as the days are so short. It's just depressing. I really start to get ready for the night around four. That's when the sun starts to set and I believe we will be going into lockdown soon. Now, the reason I think that is because Toronto just announced that they will be going into a lockdown on Monday, which is the 
That's one piece third. Um, next, I have these eye bags. So let's talk about my eye bags. As you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I've been going through a little bit of a depression spell as of late. And it probably has to do with finally like everything from the pandemic is caught up to me and the weather and the days being shorter and I hate it. But what are you gonna do when you live in a shoe? Because of this whole um, depression thing, I have not been really getting a lot of sleep at all. And so my eye bags have gotten quite dark and I'm very self-conscious of that. Um, of course, there is the factor that South Asians are more prone to having dark under eye circles due to their lack of iron and I understand that and I have never really had such a crazy issue with dark, dark circles. Of course I have some dark circles but they're not insane. Like right now, as you can see, they're pretty purple, you know? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with uh, this Lancome Taunt Tony Dell Esh uh, under eye corrector and that seems to do the trick for right now until my sleeping schedule is back on track inshallah and you know can I just let me just share something that really really annoys me or annoyed me so basically I was making I was saying something on my Instagram story and someone had made a comment about my under eyes and they did so in a very passive, aggressive, uh, rude way. And that really pissed me off because I hate that people talk like this and I don't. I got very annoyed because I was like, wow, people are really like this, eh? This person was like, oh my god, girl, you have dark black raccoon eyes too? No way. So let me tell you why that annoyed me. Because I hate when people say things that are backhanded com not backhanded compliments but like it's a backhanded statement and they try to make it all like oh my god so cute you too it's like oh it's like saying it's like saying to somebody who it's like saying to someone oh my god you gained 40 pounds during the quarantine too it's very backhanded it's very passive aggressive i didn't like it um it's like just kind of nitpicking or pointing something out about someone in a negative way and trying to be like oh my god so cute about it and I hate that and some people might be like Sahara maybe she genuinely did mean it like that no I have had my fair share of what do I call it backhanded compliments I was bullied a lot in elementary school and high school so I know a lot about the backhanded compliment or the backhanded comment. Me and the backhanded comment, we go way back. And I don't like it. And I don't F with people like that. And that person caught a block because I don't like people like that. And I know that that type of person, I know that type of person. That type of person is insecure about themselves. Fine and dandy, we're all insecure. However, they say, let me point out a flaw I don't personally think it's a flaw, but let me point out a flaw in this person, but in a really like cute little way. And that way they know that they have a flaw, but I said it in a cute way, so it's not a big deal. And that's exactly what, like it's just very, very backhanded and I'm so disgusted by that kind of behavior. It's very like high school. It's very like, you know, in high school, you're going to prom, you show somebody your prom dress and they're like, oh you got that colored dress too oh my god everyone has that colored dress no but it looks really nice though oh my god but it looks so nice why did you say it like that why couldn't you just say that that dress looks nice right so i don't like that so of course being a person who struggles with self-esteem that bothered me in the moment especially because i have dark under eye circles right now because of depression so that pissed me off but we move, but I wanted to share that with you because if there is somebody in your life who's making these types of comments to you and passing it off as like, oh my God, no, but don't worry. But oh my God, me too. Cut that person. That person does not want you to succeed. That person doesn't give a crap about you. That person would like to make themselves feel better than you or they would like you to feel as bad as they feel. 
and that person is not cute and that person deserves to be cut and I went on a little bit of a tangent for this oh sorry guys I used the Huda Beauty water primer this primer the primer I'm obsessed with this primer as well as the uh, the new stick foundation this color is panna cotta I love it I think that you might think that I am looking too deep into it but as somebody who has gone through this a lot most majority of their life actually it really bothers me because you know what that's fine say what you want I'm on the internet and people can say whatever the hell they want but damn eh you're really somebody you're somebody's friend and you're probably treating them the same way that you did to me you're somebody's friend you know and it's like damn this behavior really exists still why are we tearing each other down when all of society's beauty standards does that for us? Anyways, that was my two cents that I wanted to share because it annoyed me. Because I was like, here I am insecure about something. By the way, look at this freaking random dry skin patch thing that's on my lip. And it's not a cold sore because... It's literally just a dry skin that won't leave and it just keeps cracking. It's the freaking weather. But anyways, I just wanted to share that because it annoyed me and I wanted to just bring light to it because I feel like these type of people exist and they're very, very... There's a lot of these type of people. A lot of you who follow me are young girls and a lot of people who act like this are young girls. And I wanted to let you know that the reason you feel bad when your friend says that to you is because it is a backhanded compliment. Or a comment. Anyways, I'm getting on like a really weird tangent. I don't want to like talk about people who are annoying so badly. By the way, this is now the Veal um, setting powder. And I don't actually usually bake my under eyes until I saw this pro tip from Makeup by Ariel, who is uh, Kylie Jenner's makeup artist, that this helps you set your under eyes and it doesn't move all day. I'm gonna go in now with MAC Totally Topless Bronzer. Lately, I've been doing my bronzer quite like up here because lips to face. This is the um, Overlust Cheek Palette by NARS. I don't think they have this in stores anymore, but it is a amazing. If you can get your hands on it, it's amazing. I love the peachy blush. So next is the Dior Nude Skin Luminizer. I'm sorry that I went on a tangent about bullying tactics or like the backhanded compliment. I personally have been very much subject to bullying throughout my life and that girl bullies are very much more sneaky than boy bullies boy bullies will literally just i don't know they'll beat you up and go girl bullies are like freaking girl bullies are masterminds they will bully you and make you feel like you weren't bullied so you won't tell anybody that you're being bullied it's like Oh, they're not bullying me. You don't think you're being bullied, but you feel like crap for some reason. Put the Totally Topeless Bronzer again um, on my eyes. You know, I think uh, people don't really think or know how much childhood bullying can really affect you as an adult. But all of these things that you face or go through and experience as a child will come back in your adulthood in a different way that you will not realize right away actually like for example when i was a child i was bullied constantly non-stop bullied all the time i don't really understand why i was bullied but i was and i was constantly left out the the form of bullying that they had chosen was just leaving me out all, all the time i think it was fun to you know kiki beside each other and not include somebody and I was that somebody that they didn't include and this whole idea of being left out really hit me hard in my adulthood where I have a very like if my friends know something that I don't know I would always get so upset why am I getting so and I would not even know why why was I so upset if they all knew something and they didn't tell me about it I would just be like so upset about that you know even if it wasn't anything that was relevant to me and it didn't even make sense for me to not know and they told me eventually or something like that I would 
cry about it. I was like, why wouldn't you tell me? And they would be like, what, what do you mean? Or if they did something without telling me, I would be so sad. Why would you do that? Even though that's not a big deal, right? Me and you, me and you sitting here, no, that's not a big deal, right? But it was because as a child, I was so often left out that when it happened, even for a normal reason, I would go, I would be in the dark place again. Like, oh, well, of course, people are once again leaving me out of everything. So it took therapy that, for me to realize that. Just taking the luminizer and putting it all over my lid right now. Um, but I'm sure those of you who are or have been bullied can definitely relate to my experience in the sense of discovering how much your bullying affected your future. You know, because I was so often bullied and left out, I was constantly trying to please people so that they would not do that to me. And so, oh, I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> um, what the heck, why am I gonna get emotional? Anyways, oh my God, wait. <laughs> Anyways, basically, so I would always try and change myself um, to act like them and, you know, not be myself. By the way, this is the NARS Climax Extreme Mascara. It's amazing, amazing. The best mascara I've ever tried. And to this day, I'm a huge people pleaser. And that's 100% directly because I was bullied so much and I just wanted people to like me and not bully me. So I would just do anything for them. And I would just do anything that anyone asked because I was like, oh, if I do this, they will they will like me and in turn they won't bully me and it'll be good you know and that's really sad and it tricked it went into my high school years i would do people's homework for them i would let people copy off of me i would just do anything people would ask me oh can you go get me a drink i would be like sure people would ask me if i could lend them money i said sure because i didn't want to say no I just wanted to say yes, and I wanted people to like me. And, you know, it's hard to get out of that habit now because that's not right. You shouldn't want to do that, and you shouldn't need to do that for people to like you. And it's very hard to get out of that cycle because now it's so deeply ingrained into just your day-to-day -day that you just constantly are doing things for people constantly offering to do things for people um and you know i'm not in my head i'm not consciously doing it so that they like me i'm not saying oh i'll do this and then they'll like me no it's just so ingrained into my brain now because of the bullying that happened when i was a child that i don't my brain said oh you don't want that to happen again so in order to prevent that, you must do stuff for people and make them like you, please them, so that that never happens. I think people need to take bullying as a serious trauma because it's freaking traumatic as hell. Do you think I wanted to go across the school and grab people a Dr. Pepper? No. The hell? I did not want to do that. Look at this mascara, by the way. And yes, I have, I do use castor oil on my lashes every night. And it took like freaking three months for that castor oil to actually work. But when it worked, oof, this is what my lashes used to be like before I got freaking lash extensions and wore lashes every day. Anyway, so I got on a really like weird long tangent about bullying and I almost cried. That was weird. Now let's do the lips. The Shiseido um, Tea House Brown Line or Eyeliner. Okay, I love to use it as a lip liner. And I don't like, you see this white outline on my lips? I hate her. So I hide her. My latest obsession has been watching The Crown. And I literally only, only started to watch it because I saw that the new season, season four, is about Princess Diana. And I love, loved Princess Diana. May she rest in peace. She was brutally murdered. As we all know. I'm gonna go in with Good Moanin by, it's literally called Good Moanin. Really, really have been obsessed with that show. Even though, let's be honest, it is glorifying straight up colonizers. And I internally cringe every single time they say, oh yeah, 
we let India go, or we, they say stuff like, the monarchy is a gift from God, and I'm just like, God, you people are insane. You people are delusional. Dab the corresponding lip gloss from MAC as well, right in the center. Uh, once again, like I said, be sure to check out Ana Luisa's website. They do have the buy one, get one 50% off right now, which is an amazing deal for such good quality, sustainable jewelry. Like, we love to... I would definitely check out their sale before it ends. I know today's video was like really random and I talked about really random things, but you know, let me know your experiences with bullying, if you have been bullied and how it trickled into your adult life. If it did, if it didn't, you're so lucky and let me know the number of your therapist. But um, yeah, I'm very, very curious to know because these are things that I recently discovered, how my behaviors and reactions to certain things are totally linked to what, when I was bullied and it's directly linked and it's crazy. Because even I, to be completely honest, did not think I was like, oh, it's just childhood bullying, who cares? Like, yeah, that happened when I was a kid. How did it affect me now? A lot. Turns out a lot. Until next time, I cannot wait to talk to you all again soon. Uh, let me know what you would want my next video to be and I'll see you there. Bye!